So, have you grown a pair or what? Ready to race? Not sure. I could use some echo. That's the spirit slow. First, what?
Bags and shit on the first floor. That stuff. How can I help you? Sure. Yeah. We have a winner. Thanks, buddy. Do come again. I didn't ask you to test it, only to bring it back. No, it might be useless. But how does it work? Yeah, it, it felt amazing to be so strong. Enough already. God knows if I'll be able to fix the... Ah, bloody hell. Your generation never listens. Here, read this. Maybe you'll be a bit more careful when you're handed medical equipment next time. Now get.
It's another lovely day in the great city of Villador. How did our fair city look several centuries ago? Originally known as Gressburg, a settlement on the banks of the Tursawa River, it received its city charter in 1033 from King Engelram IV, who renamed it Villador. Thanks to trade with the East Indies, Villador grew in importance during the 16th and 17th centuries, drawing in merchants from all over the world. The city's rapid expansion came to a halt in 1772 when the Great Linden Fire broke out. 
The blaze, which began in the warehouse of the Dutch merchant Jacob Linden, engulfed most of the old herring district and claimed thousands of lives. Yet, as the residents of Villador say, these walls shake but never fall. Even as ruins were still smoldering, reconstruction began with the new Elysium district rising from the ashes. Built from stone, taken from the quarries of old Villador. Then, at the end of the 18th century, the Church of the Holy Trinity was built, a magnificent example of the neo-Gothic style. Look at the shimmering stained glass windows and prick up your ears. Is that the echo of prayers uttered by your ancestors? None of this would be here had Jacob Linden not had a thing for matches.
What'll it be, son? Don't leave home without him. You got it, kid. Ooh, wonder what you'll use that for. Bingo! Nice doing business with you, son. Normally I like a cat fight, but bloody hell. Can you believe just yesterday those two were best friends? What happened? Last night someone stole Teresa's flower. All of it. A major harvest, too. She could have made a killing. Without it, she got nothing. No flour, no sales, no money. She and her son won't last another month without the income. Oh, she must be desperate to blame her best friend. Ex-best friend. But it's just an accusation. It's not like she's got any evidence. She's a bit hot-headed, that's for sure. But you'd have to ask her yourself. You think she needs help? Teresa? Why? Looking to earn some cash? Well, that's not why I... You're a pilgrim, aren't you? You guys don't do anything for free. How much do they fork over for the water? She'll be near a shop. Well, thanks for the tip. Keep telling everyone we should be getting ready for winter. Be declared a saint. Anything catching your eye? If you've got no one to lean on, that's when you know you hit rock bottom. Good one, buddy. You know your business. Finally. Definitely. Could always use these. Just what I need. Happy to trade. Good morning, Pilgrim. Have I already thanked you for... for the water? I hear you were robbed. By my best friend, no less. I'm devastated. Really. And why on earth would you jump to that conclusion about your best friend? I didn't want to. But who else could it be? She was storing it for me. To keep it safe, she said. And now... It's conveniently gone. Me and my boy are left with nothing. If only she'd admit it and return the flower, I'd forgive her, I swear I would. 
Lord is my witness, if she's in trouble, I'll help her. But she's a stubborn one. We've had quite a harvest, too. Wouldn't have had us living on Easy Street, but now... Now we'll starve! How did Anna explain the disappearance of the flower? Theft, not a disappearance. And she didn't explain anything. She's lying through her teeth. How do you know? See it in her eyes. It's a lie. I look back and realize Anna's been a liar all along. Do you have any proof that Anna did this? Not exactly, but was in her shed, wasn't it? In here, I thought she was doing me a favor offering to store it. Turns out, she was just making it easier for her to screw over me and my boy. <sighs> Talk to her, would you? She won't listen to me. Maybe a stranger could get around her stubbornness. We can put this behind us if she gives it back. And if she stole it because she was hungry, she can keep what she needs. Her shed's near the water tower. Please, go talk to her. I'll think about it. A friend in need is a friend in need. forget the fall even happened. That's about the only time I smile. Then I see the goddamn UV lights. Hey, Anna? Anna? I just want to talk. My sister found some weird tapes inside an abandoned building. Talk to me and I'll go away. They won't take long. <laughs>